Yes, ma'am. Shall we start, sir? Yes. Okay. Yoga and Ayurveda are the two sister practices that originated in India thousands of years ago. Ayurveda and yoga is a dominant system of healing without any side effects. It continues to be a very popular form of medical treatment in India and the rest of the world. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, participants, and the viewers of the webinar. It is a proud moment to extend my warm wishes on behalf of Soundarya Institute of Management and Science, Bangalore. I want to convey my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest for the day, Dr. Sridhar. I sincerely welcome Mr. Kirtan Kumar, CEO of Soundary Institute of Management and Science. My heartfelt welcome to our principal, Dr. Suresi Higadi, IKZ head, Mr. Shivakumar Ganachari, and the head of the department, Mr. Girish, and Kaushik from the Department of Business Management. I, Malarvili, Faculty of Business Administration Department, feel proud and honored to introduce our chief guest for the day. Dr. Melukote K. Shridhar. He is currently a registrar, formerly Dean of Academics and Dean in Divisions of Yoga, Humanities and Spiritualities at Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusadhana Samasthana, a Dean University in Bengaluru. He was a registrar and Deputy Director, Publications Wing of Karnataka Samskrit University. He was a full bright scholar with South Carolina University, USA an adjunct professor of Sanskrit at Union University, USA. He has presented papers in 45 international conferences across countries, 45 national and state conferences, participated in panel discussions, and other prestigious universities across the world. He has guided eight Indian candidates. His publication comprises of 27 books, two monographs, 27 research articles, in national and international peer-reviewed peer volumes. Professor Sridhar was an assistant editor, Encyclopedia of Hinduism of USA and India. He was a UGC research fellow. He is a member of NAC peer team. He is a recipient of four international national and five state awards. He has documented several proceedings of UNDP on population, environment, and gender issues. Professor Sridhar has produced several documentaries on Sanskrit course, Indian philosophy, environment, Indology, and Yoga University. Now, without any delay, I would welcome Dr. Sridhar to give us insights about yoga and Ayurvedic techniques for keeping away COVID, which is the need of the hour. Viewers can watch on YouTube online and ask questions in the chat box. Thank you. Namaste to one and all. Oh, Namaste to one and all. Let me begin with a prayer. Oh. Yoga in a chittasya pade na vacham Malam sharidas yata white yakena Yoba karotam pravaram muninam Patanjalim branjali ranatos me Honorable CEO of the Soundarya uh, Institute of Management and Science, uh, Professor Kirtan Kumarji. Honorable Principal, Professor Suresh, all my colleagues, Professor Girish, Head of the Department of Commerce, Professor Shukumar, Professor Kaushik, Professor Malar Vilay, and all other colleagues of the Soundarya Institute of Management and Science, all the students of this institute, and all the people who are seeing this program, online through YouTube. So on behalf of the Sriyasa Yoga University, the only university in the world meant for the promotion and propagation of yoga, I extend you all a hearty welcome to this presentation. On behalf of our Honorable Chancellor, Dr. H.R. Nagendraji, 
a scientist an international yoga scientist and a recipient of padma shri the fourth highest civilian award bestowed on by the government of india and on behalf of our honorable vice chancellor dr b r ramakrishna who is also the director of the our uh, sushruta ayurvedic medical college and hospital a very renowned internationally renowned ayurvedic physician i extend a hearty welcome to you to each one of you once this covid pandemic stops i welcome you to our campus sprawling campus in the south of bangalore you are in the north of bangalore and a 100 acre campus so please come and see our activities and especially the research activities done by our dr manjunath sharma the director and the pro vice chancellor the various activities and with re with respect to the intervention of yoga for a number of chronic diseases so with this i welcome each one of you and i have prepared some slides for you which i am going to share it now and we will start that so hearty welcome you know let us begin as to how this swami vivekananda university began with cover being inspired by swami vivekananda who made an epoch making speech in the parliament of religion in chicago on september 11 1893 and this triggered the interest about india her culture tradition spirituality and our ageless legacy in the west so since then we have made a world tour actually the indian thinkers have contributed significantly as already commented by professor malayan vili yoga and ayurveda the bhagavad gita and the panchatantra the first fable of the world have significantly traveled all over the world and may have made an impact so that way i don't know why uh, it is not just click on the slide sir yeah i am clicking on the slide but it is not should i say next yeah thank you so ultimately in the entire country the education is being imparted to get to profession to become self reliant but swami vivekananda told long ago that the objective of education is to manifest the perfection already present or inherent in man taking this as the cue to our honorable chancellor who was a very renowned scientist a mechanical engineer who studied in national degree college national college bms college of engineering in institute of science then british university of british columbia and worked in nasa and also fellow at the imperial college of london and a professor and a visiting fellow at harvard during his plum career left everything came back and started this swami vivekananda yoga anusandha the aim was to bring in total personality development which i am going to unfold in my lecture today ultimately he said as told by swami vivekananda we want the man making nation building education and not just bread earning to bread earning education so that way his aim was to give the total personality education which started but he analyzed what were the issues involved in the modern education system when he started this absence of values drug addictions depression in teenagers 18 to you know depressions in the teenager from 16 to 24 more than so five people in bangalore itself committing suicide day in and day out reported unreported we don't know totally 3.6 lakh to young people committing suicide all over india so he was worried very much then the stress 
look at the plight of our uh, it people totally working on turning on time for america fully exhausted working 12 to 14 hours on a laptop and being totally burnt out and the modern ncds ncd means non communicable diseases that is hypertension diabetes blood pressure then addiction obesity and many more so then he said you the modern education has failed to address these thing has failed to address so what should we do can we have a remedy for these things then he said yes only with yoga ayurveda and man making education and as inspired by swami vivekananda we could do it so he said by bringing yoga in education system as proclaimed by swami vivekananda in his world famous chicago address and also by providing for research and advancement and dissemination of four streams of yoga elaborated in the bhagavad gita and its applications one can cure these maladies and including the ncd ncds so what were these four paths of yoga jnana yoga path of analysis raja yoga will power and it is stress uh, removing the stress and mental power bhakti yoga path of emotion culture and karma yoga path of efficient stress through free action so he elaborated he being a student of ekanath ranade in vivekananda kendra kanya kumari got trained as a direct disciple of ekanath ranade after staying there came back and started this vyasa vivekananda yoga anusandhana samsthan later in 2002 it became a university deemed to be university so he developed various systems through yoga with his tremendous experience of practical experience of science and scientific knowledge with that of our ancient indian thoughts so he combined both and brought out the new system of education he said and he was successful and yes he was was successful the practice of yoga help us in eyesight improvement we don't need you know glasses to wear although i am wearing i started wearing at the age of 21 then hearing and voice culture helpful to musicians artists dancers memory development for our children because you all know a student of science up to your 10th standard or even up to your puc the brain developed from the 7th day of the birth only up to 2 years after that the brain stops brain doesn't develop so we have to give a good nourishing food especially proteins and nitrogen and so on to the children so that nitrogen get fixed and the brain fully gets developed later easy for us to develop that memory of the children through various types of uh, actions which i am going to demonstrate with you today for 5 minutes the brahmari yoga an iq development intelligent question physical stamina because you know what some please remember what swami vivekananda said give me a band of young men and women who have muscles of iron and nerves of steel i will change the face of the world that was his statement and he was successful then creativity enhancement and ego management so all this can be done through the help of practicing yoga and spending just half an hour a day for our own self so he further said that yoga helps us in the development of consciousness it helps us to develop civic sense to promote order in the society look at the chaos we have because and in this moment of crisis as we read in bangalore it through our newspapers and media exposed by our bangalore south uh, mp shri tejasvi surya some bbmp officials some medical terrorists are you know monopolizing the seats monopolizing the bets and selling it at a market price you know at their own whims and fancies where is this value where is this these have to be put in order yoga helps you to do so national awareness for making india great which was done by modi in the last 5 years but his hands are little tied now because of the covid pandemic but still we can do so as elaborated in our isvasa value through tyaga sacrifice and seva service spiritual quest to know the aim of life and to unravel the loss of the entire creation so 
with these in the mind let us turn towards how to be healthy all the time you know let us go for the definition of health according to the who the world health organization which gave it around 1953 it said health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity an equal development in different countries in the promotion of health and control of diseases especially communicable disease is a common danger you know this was predicted by the who in 53 now with covid pandemic with so many mutations you know indian mutation uk mutation latest yesterday on the pradesh mutation bangalore mutation is creating havoc so we have to get rid of this turn yoga and ayurveda or the panacea for that so health as emphasized by our own masters the ayurveda and the yoga masters uh, is as follows charaka and sushruta and vagbhata uh, wrote what you call it as the charaka samhita and the vagbhata uh, sushruta samhita and vagbhata's uh, ashtanga sangraha in which they define health as samadoshah samagnischa samadhatu malakriya प्रसन्नात्मेन्द्रिय मनाह स्वस्थम इति अभिधीयते ऑल्दो आई डोंट हैव टाइम टू गिव यू मीनिंग ऑफ एवरी वर्ड देयर बट स्टिल आई हैव गिवन यू द ट्रांसलेशन एट द एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेद वी ऑलवेज हैव आवर बॉडी हैज थ्री दोषस वात पित्त कफ दिस वात पित्त कफ शुड बी इन इक्वली प्रियम फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वात gets increased in our body we div- we suffer from various types of muscle sprains if pitta is more in our body we suffer from serious acidity if kapha is more the- in our body then we suffer from cough etc and especially the latest covid virus affecting our lungs through pneumonia so we should get rid of vata pitta kaphas and the digestive fire which is present in our stomach called the jataragni must be balanced state and the tissues there are seven dhatus at the tissues in our body blood uh, then um, you know fat uh, etc and waste three malas that is the urine the uh, you know uh, sveda means the uh, perspiration uh, all these things must work in normal state isn't it trimal it's called trimala mutra purisha and the sveda the feces the urine and the uh, perspiration of the body they should work in normal state the sensory organ there are five sensory organs and five motor organs and our mind and the soul they also must be in a pleasant state only then we can call a person healthy you know the modern allopathic medicine will cure the disease but not the patient but ayurveda although a delayed process cures both the patient as well as the disease so such a person is called a healthy person or called swastha it is called swastha swastha mean a totally healthy person who has the doshas in equilibrium whose digestive fire is in balance the tissues and the waste work should work in balance all over 10th organs the mind soul should be in pleasant state so this is an excellent definition friends and colleagues you might have observed dear students who are watching this you might have observed this is a better definition compared to the who definition although the who might have got some cue from the definition of ayurveda because the charaka sushruta vagbhata or charaka sushruta text called the samhitas were translated into arabic language uh, and then into uh, in 800 ce itself that means 1200 years ago so yoga we promote here the holistic health ho it is called holistic health integrated health it is prevention promotion of positive health which i will elaborate now handling of the ncds which i have already elaborated acute cases by yoga and modern medicine now we are adding other dimensions of other ayush systems ayush refers to ayurveda yoga yunani siddha and homeopathy 
Hence, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji came to power, first time he st st started a department, a ministry of Ayush, covering all these things, and uh, you know, appointed a cabinet minister for this pur purpose called Sri Yashu Prasad Nayak from Goa, and he did a yeoman service in the last seven years. So challenges in modern health system, as I elaborated, are the modern NCDs, and let us add COVID to this because it's a, but although it's not an NCD, it's a communicable disease, no solution in modern medical system. You know, we have five types of vaccines. People who have taken two vaccines are also affected with COVID. How can we remedy these things? Yes, by bringing yoga therapy as directed by Swami Vivekananda, by adopting for research and advancement of adoption of four streams of yoga, Raja Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, and Karma Yoga, as integrated approach of yoga therapy, based on the Panchakosha model, which is there in Taittiriya Upanishad, elaborated by our Honorable Chancellor, Dr. H.R. Nagendraji, and we have, he developed various mechanisms and uh, techniques and systems through these things and origin of NCDs in the Manomaya Kosha, which is the imaginary Kosha in our mind, which is which creates Adhi or uh, disease first in the mind. When the, the disease is not cured in the mind, it leads to Vyadi to the, and it percolates to the body and it comes to the body with physiological and metabolical problems in the Annamaya Kosha. So, through the Panchakosha model, it is possible for us to get rid of all these diseases, including the COVID-19, and through which we can combine the best of the East, that is yoga, with the best of the West, that is the modern scientific research. That is what we have done it in Asiyasa Yoga University under the chairmanship of our Honorable Chancellor, uh, Vice Chancellor, Director, and uh, uh, the Medical Director and the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. R. Nagaratna, who is a very renowned uh, oil, uh, you know, allopathy physician specialized in internal medicine with MBBS MD from India and MRCP from London. She came and after her MRCP, she came and joined with her elder brother, Dr. H.R. Nagendra, and we are all doing this research. So, then what is the definition? Now you have learned about the definition of Ayurveda. Then what is the definition of health according to yoga? The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, which were given around 600 CE, BCE, means 2,600 years ago, says, presents optimum health as a state of mind that is alert and in peace at the same time. I hope each of you are alert. This state is termed as Chitta, Vritti nirodaha. Nirodaha, restraining, vritti, the modifications of chitta, the mind stuff, which is the definition of yoga. So, mind is able to achieve its full potential and at the same time be relaxed. So, expansions and relaxation, contraction and expansion, the methodology of science was implemented by our Honorable Chancellor to cure a number of diseases through yoga, intervention of yoga and Ayurveda. Patanjali uses another term called, called as Kaya Sampat. Sampat, the wealth of Kaya, the body, which means the wealth of the body. So, wealth of the body is important. According to Patanjali, that means you should keep your body physically strong, physically stern, you know, stubborn in nature. In, that was declared in the Taitri Upanishad. Ashishto, Dralishto, Balishtaha. You should be strong. You should be persevere. You should be able to even break the stone. Break your body should be like that of a, a diamond. So according to Sage Patanjali, wealth of the body includes four parameters or is judged by four parameters. Healthy or rupa, that is important. Then radiance of the body, lavanya. Lavanya, howsoever, to the best of the cosmetic shops you go, once the cosmetic uh, color fades away, natural uh, color face you know, comes into the face and the body. But the, there is a glow or a radiance in the body that get enhanced by itself if you do yoga, if you practice samasanas. That is called the lavanya. 
health and strong functioning of the body called the bala resilience or stamina vajra samhanana hananatva as i told you you can break a diamond and your body will be like that of an adamant so these also could be considered as a definition of health from the point of view of yoga so based on the panchakosha model elaborated in the taitri upanishad this panchakosha was developed by our honorable chancellor it's called panchakoshas first is anna you know the outer body layer called annamaya kosha full of you know body with all its nerves with its muscles with its fluids everything that has to be protected well then the next is pranamaya kosha prana is vital breath we we you know we inhale and exhale i will come to that in a few minutes from now prana is very important prana is not just air but swami vivekananda translate it as psychic breath third is manomaya kosha which is the mental domain the what what in the modern science called as psyche there is apart from the electromagnetic field magnetic field electric field there is one field called psi field which operates at the manomaya kosha sitting here now you guys my colleagues and my our dear students hearing a lecture my lecture can send a message to their friend in america uk australia that is the power of mind vigyan my kosha intellectual that which differentiate between good bad right wrong uh, happiness and unhappiness love and passion that's called vigyana maya kosha then comes the ananda maya kosha state of absolute bliss you know people uh, are happy because they are the richest in the world with you know being mentioned in the forbes list isn't it who is a real man who is very happy who is happy within himself who is joyful within himself who is blissful within himself and that is the kosha of anandamaya kosha which is present in us which is which has to be only unraveled for which to move from the anandamaya to pranamaya pranamaya to manomaya manomaya to vijnanamaya and vijnanamaya to anandamaya which is present in us but we have forgotten it because of the impact of western culture western entertainment and so on so the state of health illness you know oh my god yes sorry let me go for the previous slide slide 15 yes thank you i got it so the state of health it is the illness will lead one to death unfortunately as how many people are you know dying you know just let me give you one minute please yeah illness leads to death but positive health uh, helps us for well being and that is the state of health you can see the graph mentioned so ultimately how are we going to have a integrated th- approach of yoga therapy through annamaya kosha through annamaya kosha we have developed what you call it as uh, cyclic uh, you know meditation asanas and kriyas pranamaya kosha guruji has developed through kriyas and pranayama the to, to develop the manomaya kosha we have meditation dhyana and bhakti devotion in order to develop our vigyanamaya kosha he has developed knowledge jnana and anandamaya kosha through working karma yoga so through this all five types we can definitely develop our five koshas and integrate them so we have developed various advanced technique guruji has developed various advanced technique to give you an example msrt means mind sound resonant technique resonance technique cm means cyclic meditation vishak means vigyana sadhana kaushala pet means pranic energy 
Jinn and many more. Only the, unfortunately, we have not we have not patented this. This has been given free of cost to the entire world by our honorable chancellor. So, you know, uh, little drifting away for one minute, India is now sitting on the time bomb of what you call it as diabetes. And we are next only to China. We are having the maximum number of diabetic people in the country. And it is increasing. By 2050, it says more than 30% or 40% of the population will be affected with one or the other type of diabetes, type 1 or type 2, especially type 2. To get rid of this type 2 diabetes, which is only a system file yoga, yoga has been developed and stressed hormones are reduced by depressed. So, modern science you know, always concentrated on matter-based approach. But here, in Esvyasa, it is consciousness-based approach, science within Vedanta, which is beyond quantum physics. So, from quantum mechanics, we go to prana research. Number of papers have been published. You, I am pleased to, and in all humility, I am pleased to say at Esvyasa, uh, more than 500 papers have been published. Research papers in all major gen, international journals, <coughs> such as uh, Lancet, British Medical Journal, Nature, New England Journal, and so on. And next only to Indian School of Science, we have the maximum number of papers here published in national and international peer-reviewed journals. So through and lot of papers have been published on prana. So we can get it, get rid of all these things, health hazards, and I will I will move on further. And most important, the SMET, the self-management of excessive tension, it is there for brilliance, excellence, health, stress, and free maturity. And um, we have developed a new system called uh, self-management of excessive tension. This is only is a three-day program or a five-day program by doing by undertaking through cyclic meditation and smack the efficiency. Uh, you know the deep sleep gets more efficient from nine percent. It goes up to thirty-two percent, and. Even if you do 35 minutes of cyclic meditation, you will have a comfortable sleep and your sleep gets reduced by two hours. Even maximum six hours of continuous sleep is enough and that is what has been developed by us. So we move from wholesome, you know, as total management, you know, total quality management. From that, we have moved into what you call as wholesome developed by our honorable chancellor, holistic system management. So it is total, wholesome, integral, based on our Panchakosha model and reducing of the you know, stress, various types of disorders, because all these disorders comes because of the equilibrium of the three gunas which is present in our body, tamas, rajas, and sattva. Tamas is laziness, torpidity, Rajas is feverish activity, Sattva is noble. So we should move from Tamas to Rajas, Rajas to Sattva. Each one of us have all these three. It depends upon the food we take, environment in which we are living, education which we have got, and our mental impressions and samskaras. All these depends. So ultimately, wholesome helps you to move from our Tamasic nature to Rajasic, Rajasic to Sattva. These days in the you know, Bollywood, Hollywood, Bollywood, Hollywood, Sandalwood, villains and anti-villains are glorified. For example, Duryodhana, Karana, so on. Although Tamasik in nature. We should move from Tamas to Rajasik and Rajasik like Arjuna. From Arjuna, we should move on to the state of Krishna or Sattva. So that is all elaborated in their wholesome. So, fourfold personality development will help us in developing our physical or five-fold development, physical, mental, emotional, and intellectual domains of our personality through the spiritual basis. And this contributes significantly to our society, to our family, to the nation, and the globe at large for the whole creation. Hence, let us develop these things. I have some more slides. Uh, 
yeah i'll go back to another set of slides four or five and get back to you some special uh, you know i will get you that please wait for one minute Hello, am I here? Are you hearing me? Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, how to share this new set of slides? Are you seeing the slides? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Click on the green button called uh, Share Screen no, in uh, Zoom application. Yes, sir. This is a very important slide. Just a minute. Can you enlarge the screen? No, sir. We are still not able to see this PowerPoint yeah. presentation. You are first supposed to go to the Zoom application. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Share screen. You will get it now. You got it now. Yes, sir. You got it, isn't it? Yeah. Just a minute. Yes, just a minute. Yeah, you got it. Hello. Yes. Yeah. So, prana, as I had mentioned you, prana consists of five pranas: prana, udana, vyana, apana, samana. Hrudi prana ha. Hrudi prana ha. The prana, the major vital psychic prana, is present in our heart. Gude apana ha. The apana is present in the anus region, which takes away all the excretory products. Samano nabi samstita ha. Samana is present in the navel region. Udana kanta deshasta ha. Udana is present in your throat region, responsible for my speech, your speech. Vyana sarva sharira ga ha. Vyana is present throughout the body, muscles and nerve plexuses. So all these. Combined together is called prana. That has to be, that has to be checked and controlled through pranayama, inhalation and exhalation. So let us turn quickly. Now you know actually yesterday's scenario the, with respect to the COVID-19. Total COVID cases on Wednesday was uh, as of yesterday three lakh seventy-eight thousand twenty-four. Deaths were three thousand four fifty-four all over India. In Karnataka, total COVID cases as of yesterday was you know people infected fifty thousand one hundred and twelve. Deaths three forty-six. Bangalore. 50%, you know, we are taking the lion's share. Our youngsters should be very careful because in the second wave, he is affecting our youngsters in the age group of 18 to 35. 23,106 and deaths 161. How to get rid of this? So, pranayama technique developed by H.R. Nagendra Ji. So, the whole process is to slow down the breath. We are generally have, you know, inhale and exhale 15 to 18 breath per minute so that prana and breath are connected. We have to reduce it. That breath, which we are doing from one, in one minute, 15 to 18 times, normal case I'm telling, to bring it to one, one breath per minute and one breath or for two minutes, one breath, three minutes, one breath. It is possible. It is possible. How we can do it? The simple method is given here. Sit in a comfortable position, close eyes, 
Take deep breath, slowly breathe out, inhale slowly, exhale slowly and completely. As we inhale, whole body gets energized. Exhale, all muscles of body get relaxed and bring a beautiful smile on your face. Right now, we will do this apart from my lecture. Now, I am guiding you for the next three minutes to all of you, my colleagues, and those who are sitting watching through YouTube. Now, come on, sit in a comfortable position. Just sit in a comfortable position. Be relaxed, be relaxed. Sit as comfortable as possible, either on the floor, either on the floor or, on your chair, or in your chair. Lean back, let your back, neck, and head be straight. Come on. Please close your eyes. Observe the thoughts of your mind. Just observe. Don't talk. Don't speak. Don't think. Just observe how is your mind. How it's behaving. Now, slowly take deep breath. Inhale. Slowly take a deep breath. Slowly breathe out. Slowly breathe out. Next, inhale. Slowly inhale. Exhale. Slowly and completely. Once again. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly open your eyes. As you inhale, your whole body gets energized. As you exhale, all muscles of your body get relaxed. And while doing this, bring a beautiful smile on your face. This you can do any number of times. Preferably in the morning, before taking your coffee, tea or whatever it may be, before lunch, before snacks, before dinner, and before you go to bed. Just two minutes, three minutes. That give, that creates, that manufactures nitric oxide in you. That nitric oxide will prevent your COVID virus. Recent researchers have been told that this COVID virus, the Indian mutant, earlier with, when it came from China, it used to stay for two hours and fall down and die. Now, this Indian mutant varieties are going to stay for 24 hours and it stays in your nose for two to four minutes and then two to four days, I'm sorry. Then it goes to your tongue, uh, throat and then percolates to the lungs. So the lungs get affected. So we should be very careful. Next, how to practice the five minutes of advanced pranayama. I'm not going to teach you that, but I'm leaving this. He, uh, you know, I've already sent the PPT to Professor Girish, he can share with all of you. But you have to learn this from a yoga instructor. You have to do this twice a day. Sit in a comfortable posture on a mat, on the ground or on a chair. Close the eyes and observe the mind for one or two minutes. Close the right nostril with, don't do it now please, just here. Close the right nostril with right thumb and inhale through left nostril slowly and gently. Then exhale slowly. Do it for five to seven times. Then close the left nostril with ring finger, you know, this one. And inhale through right nostril and gently. Then exhale slowly. Do it five to seven times. Then close right nostril and inhale through left nostril. Close the left nostril with ring finger and exhale through right nostril. Do it for five, five to seven times and vice versa. So once it is over, take deep breath and recite Omkara while exhaling. 
do it for three times. After steady practice, you can do 27 times. Each one 27 times. Practice this pranayama two, three times a day, having learned from a certified yoga instructor. This will keep you away COVID-19 because it expands your chest. It expands your lungs. It will fill in more of oxygen in your blood. People doesn't need oxygen cylinders. They need not buy this at exorbitant rates or hold the oxygen cylinders at home, not required. This can help you to expand your chest, elaborate your lungs, and you get enough oxygen, which will help you to get rid of the COVID-19. So next, another thing is Brahmari Pranayama, which we are going to do for the next three minutes. Brahmari Pranayama helps for concentration. As teachers and students, we need more concentration. You know, when uh, ask any of our ask any of our students or any of your students, they are having absolute concentration while reading uh, Harry Potter sixth edition or watching a Bollywood film. But ask them to ask their concentration while reading a book. No, they can't concentrate more than 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Why? No concentration. Bravery helps you. In concentration for memory and for the resonance of the whole body. Simple way of doing is, now I will demonstrate that. So all of you sit in a comfortable posture. For, we'll do it for two minutes. Sit in a comfortable posture, please. Let your head, let your back, neck, and head be straight. Keep your hands like this. You know, it's called chin mudra. Look there, look at this. Keep it on your uh, you know, knee. Keep it on your knee. Sit in a comfortable posture. Please close your eyes and mouth. Observe the thought process of your mind as to how it is behaving, as to where it is going. Just observe. 30 seconds. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and while inhale, make a humming sound like a bee. Take a deep breath again, close your eyes, take a deep breath again. Exhale and hum like a bee. Mm. While humming, you observe how the entire face of your you know, head, all the things shine and there will be vibration. As you practice more and more, there will be vibration throughout your body. This vibration of your body will correspond with the vibration of the universe with all started with Omkara. So this can be done four to six times a day before breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before you sleep. You can teach to your children. Of course, learn it from a yoga practitioner correctly first. And I saw that your website also has a, a yoga instructor in your, as a colleague who has done his MSc yoga, please learn from him. This can be done four to six times a day before breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before you sleep. You just do it for one month and observe how much of memory you will have. So this pranayama technique will bring you comfortable things. So then, when you go out for, uh, for how, when you go out of next prevention measures, I am telling you, given by our uh, masters, yoga masters and Ayurvedic doctors and others, when you go out of the house for work, shopping, when you go out to house for work or shopping or meeting friends, etc., once you return home, 
please take steam inhalation for five minutes. You know how to take the steam inhalation. Twenty counts of inhalation through nose and twenty counts through mouth. Totally eighty counts. Because I told you, the new mutant virus is going to stay in our nose, which is traveling in the atmosphere, in the sky, in the air. And when it gets deposited in your nose, it stays for two to four days. It has to be. First of all, it should be get ridden out of the nose, then the tongue, then the throat. So gargle the tongue. Take one, you know, mild hot water. Put one uh, teaspoonful, not teaspoonful, one two or three ml of salt. Stir it, then gargle it. Then most important, as Indians, as told by the compere. Who introduced me so well? Thanks. Kashaya is an age-old elixir made from India. It is for whole body immunity. Please drink Ayurvedic herbal kashaya. How to do it? Mix around quarter spoon of kashaya powder in hot milk or hot water and drink twice a day. The general ingredients for kashaya are you get in all uh, you know. Uh, Ayurvedic shops, grind, what do you call it as Grindige shops? Ashwagandha, Amruta Balli, Jeshta Madhu, Pippali, Pepper, Turmeric, Tulsi leaves, and Ginger. These are the eight constituents. I repeat: Ashwagandha, Amruta Balli, Jeshta Madhu, Pippali, Pepper, Turmeric, Tulsi leaves, and Ginger. Take all of them and mix them in equal proportion. Buy them from a Dandige shop and Ayurvedic shop and mix them. Powder it completely. If need be, you add little jaggery, but never sugar. Sugar came from British in 1800 and it's spoiling India. Earlier we we never used sugar. We used only honey and chestnut and jaggery, bella. So. This kashaya should be fully powdered in equal quantity, and be and should be kept in dry containers. This kashaya was developed by our honourable chancellor, vice chancellor, Dr. B. R. Ramakrishna, who is the director of Sushruta Ayurvedic Medical College and Hospital, and our honourable vice chancellor, who is the honourable vice chancellor of Vishwasa, deemed to be university. Ever since kash the COVID came into existence last year. we have been drinking this kashaya in our campus we have made it mandatory for you know uh, our yoga students and the faculty and the inmates of our uh, university to drink kashaya twice a day we have thousand students inmates in the campus all of them are served kashaya and all of them are healthy only few cases of covid came because students went outside for you know violating our orders Neglecting our orders, came back with mild COVID, and they also got cured, and they were sent home already. So this kashaya is prepared by our honourable Ramakrishna. I give you a link later. It is there. You can order that. So, last but not the least, the five principles of Ayurveda for a holistic lifestyle, especially in this COVID pandemic, to be practiced by us all is. you should eat good food ahara proper food please don't eat junk food designer food genetically modified foods never eat that achara have proper conduct there is a conduct for everybody for boys and girls separately for men women for various professions we have to follow this conduct are called achara next is vichara have good thoughts in the mind Have always good thoughts. A negative thought will drive you crazy. Will lead you to, you know, vengeance, revenge, as we see most of it in our present-day films. Vihara. Have good entertainment. Proper entertainment, not gluing to the TV all the time. Vyavahara. Have proper trade and commerce. Good business. Rightful business. Proper business. Still, you can make millions. So. Yes, Vyasa. Deemed to be university YouTube. We have thousands of videos. I have given you a link here. Yoga for post-COVID management. A lecture by our Dr. R. Nagaratna, Director of Arogya Dama. Please visit that. 
here was lectures this one is the one then we have yoga and lifestyle modification by dr h r nagendra the link is here best way to fight corona and its proper understanding we have developed some techniques please go through that free of cost download from our yes vyasa youtube videos and get benefit if you want to know more about kashaya please email it to sushruta dot prince at dot principal at gmail dot com he will give you the details and you can pre prepare that kashaya at home so stay free stay healthy stay at home practice meditation 5 minutes a day drink kashaya keep all other precautionary measures of keeping 6 feet distance wearing the mask all the time even though you have taken covid vaccine or you will take covid vaccine sanitizing the hands that's the only way get way to get rid of this covid second wave and then comes the third wave by end of november we should be ready for it please take vaccines and still you follow these procedures so smet i have already shown you i am not going i am going to skip this this i showed you so with this i offer my grateful thanks to professor girish the head of the department of commerce dr suresh ji he hegedi the principal shri soundarya p manjapa honorable chairman of the soundarya institute of management science faculty and students to the ceo mr deepak kumar to all the um, you know students and the faculty who have been hearing this lecture of yoga and ayurveda for keeping away covid 19 to all the spheres of fraternity for giving this knowledge and training us to spread this message globally so i offer my grateful thanks to each one of you namaskar dhanyawad so now i invite you to for a brief question answer session uh, thank you sir uh, uh, thank you sir for the extensive uh, information about uh, yoga and ayurveda to keep away covid 19 now yeah. i request uh, our beloved principal uh, dr suresh hegadi sir to say few words okay good afternoon to everyone respected professor sridhar sir respected ceo sir my dear colleagues and my student friends in fact today we are all blessed for having on for having you on our webinar on insight about yoga which is being organized by the department of management of sims sir your presentation on insights about yoga was very informative and thought provoking sir definitely your presentation on yoga will help us not only to fight against the covid pandemic but also enables us to be mentally physically emotionally healthy and strong sir sir you tried your level best to cover maximum aspects about the yoga in your today's presentation you covered objective of education challenges of modern education system meaning of yoga education types of yoga benefits of yoga definition of a health given by who benefits of ayurveda treatment yoga for holistic health yoga therapy parameters of health pancha kosha adhi vadi state of health integrated approach of yoga education advanced the techniques of anams yoga in diabetics quantum mechanics to prana research self management of excessive tension yoga in personality development prana and the human body covid scenario as on yesterday then pranayam technique to fight against covid prevention measure to be away from the impact of covid 19 and finally you explained us sir for you important principles of ayurveda to keep away the impact of covid pandemic 19 sir you tried your level best to cover as much as possible from your end within a short period of time sir we are all blessed for your presentation 
and uh, you mentioned at the beginning of your presentation and uh, extended an invitation to all of us to visit your university. In fact, we're all blessed to have that kind of invitation from your end, sir. Once the situation comes to normal, definitely sure. me and all my colleagues, along with our students, will visit your university, sir. So before concluding, I, on behalf of a Sims family, express my deep sense of gratitude for sharing your valuable time and a rich experience in the field of yoga for the benefit of our students and our faculty members. Sir. So once again, thank, thank you so much, sir. Namaskar. Thank you. Sir, I did like only one question, that is, how yes. can we focus on only positive things? Because uh, yeah. most of the people are dying because of their negative attitude rather than uh, the COVID disease. How can we focus only on positive things during this uh, crisis or culture uh, situation? The thing is, first, we should know our strength and weakness. Actually, all of us have extraordinary strength, which is positive attitude. But we are not aware of it, so it is hidden or latent in nature. But we develop the negative tendency because it's very fast and quick. So we go for that. We have to check that negative tendency and develop the positive dimension of our life that it is possible for me to succeed in any venture for that matter. To have such tremendous self-confidence, which is very, very important. Self-confidence and strength and knowing our weaknesses would help us to combat any amount of difficulties or trials and tribulations. Yoga gives us that strength. The asana gives us the strength to make your body and mind strong. Yoga is a discipline of the mind, whereas Ayurveda is a discipline of the body. The combination of yoga and Ayurveda will help us to, uh, you know, uh, develop our personality in a multi-dimensional way. Thank you, sir. Uh, we had a wonderful, uh, knowledgeable session today. So we are blessed uh, to have you in our midst. And I expect my deep sense of uh, uh, thanks to our principal, Dr. Suresi Hegade, who has been uh, extending his great support in conducting such kind of knowledgeable programs. And I extend my deep sense of gratitude to Sri Kirtan Kumar, who is CEO of Sundar Institute of Management and Science. And my special thank to Mr. Prasad and Mr. Taushik, who have been with us and supporting uh, us in providing technical assistance. Thank you. Thank you, one and all, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Ganesh and uh, Professor Kaushik. And the uh, way wonderfully it was introduced by Professor Malarvili, all the team of uh, uh, Prasad and others. Thank you very much. We'll have more sessions like this. And definitely, our aim is to promote uh, total integrative health for the overall development of a personality, of an individual, and that of the nation in general. Thank you very much. Namaskar. We'll end up with Shanti. Thank you, sir. We'll end up with Shanti. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Sarve santu vidamayamaha Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Makas chet dukkha bhavak bhavet Om shanti 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 Namaskar, dhanyavad.